Hi everyone, it's the English Sinner here and today we are doing my favourite thing in the whole entire world and that is fangirling over cute, cosy video games. It's my favourite thing. It's recently blown up on TikTok which I personally find incredible. I love that people are finding like genres of games that they finally like feel comfortable playing and that are made for them. Like video gaming also like converging with traditional media has been incredible to see over the last few years. And as you all know, I'm a massive fan of Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Ooblet, I can never put these types of games down. And there's one that's currently in development. It's looking very similar to Stardew in it has the same sort of vibe, like that Harvest Moon vibe as well. And it is called Coral. Island. I have to give a shout out to Zineev's girl aka Brit because Brit is a simp for this game and if it wasn't for Brit I probably wouldn't see as much information as I have done so I will leave Brit's Twitch down below. You should all go follow her. She's amazing and so insanely talented and hilarious and I adore her with all of my heart. So thank you Brit for bringing Coral Island to my attention. We're gonna be looking at their Kickstarter, going through, discussing how I feel about it. We're also gonna watch the little trailer because I haven't even watched that yet. I wanted to save everything until I recorded a video about it and it's my time to shine. Coral Island reimagining the farm sim game. A reimagined farm sim inspired by classics. Grow crops, nurture animals, and befriend the islanders. When they first put up this Kickstarter, they only needed 50,000 for this. It now has almost 600,000. I haven't backed it yet, but I am very much going to because I fully want to dive into this game as soon as it's available. And if you back it, you at a certain like level, you can get access to the alpha. But let's have a cheeky little gander at the trailer. Welcome to Coral Island. I have turned down the music slightly uh, because I don't know if it's copyrighted. I doubt it is. The town looks beautiful. I love the lighting. Honestly. Mwah. So obviously you can start a new life. It's very Stardew-esque. I never really played any of the Harvest Moon games growing up. Um, so the biggest like comparison I can draw is Stardew because of how many hours I've put into that game. The graphics are very different though. This is like a 3D rendered version. Dive to save coral. Oh my goodness, you can dive? It has underwater. I love games with underwater emphasis oh my what there's a mermaid i knew that there was mermaids but i was not expecting to see one in this trailer find that special someone obviously we all love a little bit of romance we have scott oh scott's a cutie every single romanceable character and also like the npcs who aren't romanceable look so damn cute look at the art on them oh my word Raphael! oh my word hello Oh my god, that bar looks incredible. I'm freaking out. I can't even decide. I think I want to romance all of them. Like, that's all. Like, always what I do in Stardew anyway. Yes, I have my favourites, but I will always, like... I'll always romance all of them. And I have no issue. Oh no, spiders though. Spiders. If I play this on stream, I'm a freak the hell out. I hate spiders. Fishing, obviously. No farming sim would be a farming sim without fishing. You can decorate your house. Very Animal Crossing-esque with the decoration. They have a yellow top and dungarees. That's it. Can I tell you about my first date with Frank? Oh, good. Good fairies, did that say? There's a calendar. There's a community garden. Oh, wow. Hello there. Who are you? I just gave you a tulip. Coral Island. Wishlist now on Steam. We've got Merfolk Underwater Village, 
kids grow up, mod support at 600k, which I think we're over because this is in dollars, so we've got multiplayer. NPC seasonal outfits, expanded museum, bug catching, mini games, our journey begins. Oh wait, we've also got 700k beach and festival outfits. We will add bathing suits as beach outfits and one festival outfit to 20 NPCs. All datables are included. 750k, Millie, Suki, Ben and Charles join the datable roster. Always love having some new romanceables. Decide whether to revitalize not only the town, but also the surrounding coral reefs. I am all for this. I am such a little beach bum at heart. I absolutely love the sea. It's the one thing I'm missing the most right now is not just being able to drive to the seaside and like sit by the sea and just like enjoy the sound of water. Promising to keep intact what makes classic farm sims games fun. Coral Island aims to modernize and make the experience more inclusive, which we always approve of. I am always down for making games more inclusive. We feature a large cast of diverse characters, which I have to say it's 100% the most diverse cast I have seen of any game of this essence is the bit that I'm excited about. We all know that I love seeing the NPCs and the islanders and the townsfolk. Townies are like some of my favorite parts of The Sims games in general. There are over 50 islanders living on Coral Island, coming from all walks of life. Get to know these people by chatting them up. Extra brownie points for gifts. So these are the romanceables. We have Noah, Yori, I don't know who my favorite is. I love the look of Kenny. Kenny just looks like a sweet bean. I also love the look of Zara. I will say I would like to see like darker skin tones in here as well. Like I feel like it's very light skinned skin tones right now. Um, Macy is adorable. I would just love to see a little bit like pushed a bit more. But these are only the romanceable ones and then we do have some more townies that you can't romance but are still living in Coral Island. Dipper, oh my goodness, I, I mean unless they are underage, I wish Dipper was romanceable. I love them. I love the look of them. I also love Frank, but I think Frank is with Millie and therefore I agree that we should not break them up because if they are, they make an adorable couple together. Charles, I would die for Charles. He reminds me of Nigel from the Wild Thornberries and I love him. Kara just looks like a badass. I love every single one of these people. Why have I become a farming obsessed simmer recently? I feel like all my content is Hey, I would like to see farming, please and thank you. Find your playstyle by deciding what crops to grow, which animals to nurture, or what structures to build. So from this, we have chickens, we have cows, pigs by the looks of it. Then you have all of your crops, you have daisies. That looks like a raccoon as well from what I can see. Looks like we're also getting bees. This looks like a little bee hut with a bee coming out of it. So a range of animals to choose from, obviously the crops as well. I love the art style. I think it's very, very cute. I like the 3D rendered because you don't really get a lot of like farming games these days that are like that. Choose from a variety of crops, flowers, fruit plants, and trees. There are over 75 plantables in the game, ranging from age old classics to the exotic and obscure native to Asia, which I love. This is being made by an Indonesian company and so the fact that they're tying in their Asian element is incredible to see. I love that. And these all just look so damn cute. Like the art style is doing it for me. Make a living by caring for animals and raising livestock, though you'll first need to build a coop or a barn to house them. These farm animals can be left outside during the day and will return. Oh my god, we have like peacocks! What the heck? The duck is so cute! Keep in mind that this is just all like art sketches, so they're not gonna look exactly like this in the game. Also, this chicken reminds me of Hey Hey from Moana. Really 
really looks like hay hay. Also quails. Poultry are farm animals that live in a coop. If fed daily, mature poultry usually produces one egg and sometimes a feather. <gasps> you can have llamas! Oh my goodness, the simmer inside me is so happy. It's not a raccoon, it's a luwak. Sorry, I've never come across that animal before. I don't know how I pronounce it. The cows are so chubby. I love them. Look at their little faces. Sheeps, pigs, goats, um, luwaks, and llamas. Barn-dwelling animals range from the traditional sheep and cow to luwaks and llamas. They need to be brushed and fed daily to keep their produce flowing. And then the diving is obviously where the ecosystem and the, like, looking after the world comes into it. So dive into the ocean to restore the coral reefs. Select a diving spot around the island and unlock deeper levels to explore. Unravel all that the ocean has to offer. Clean up the seabed to make home for rare fish and collect ocean kelp to hone the quality of livestock and crop. I love games that also tie into education. I think that's so important. And this is just like doing everything right for me. Oh my god, there's a skill tree and everything. <laughs> the little, the little checklister in me who has like the to-do list absolutely loves this. I love a good skill tree, you guys know it. If we ever get an occult in The Sims, I'm like, yes, but do they have a skill tree that I can complete and get some validation from. As you make your way around the island, you'll earn skill points that can be invested into skills. Decide on a path and create an experience unique to you. And that wasn't even the end of their Kickstarter. Like there is even more information after that, but I basically just wanted to record this video for those of you who are interested in these types of games, who haven't heard about this. Literally since recording this, it's gone up to to 600k and passed it in Great British Pounds. So it's it's continuously getting those pledges, which I'm so damn happy about. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video though. Let me know how you're feeling about this game. What other games like this are you really enjoying at the moment? I feel like the Panini that we are in right now has just like encouraged people to kind of explore gaming more. And I really, really like that. Like people have had more spare time on their hands. They've been trying to look for stuff to do inside to stay safe and also to bring people together. I know I've been playing a lot more Stardew with people than I usually do and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So I think just wholesome games that can connect you in a way to different people in your life is always incredible. So I'm very happy about this. I'm gonna uh, finish this video right now. I'm gonna go back this project. I'm not saying that you need to. However, I wanna get my hands on alpha access, like I said. So I will leave that down below if you guys do wanna back it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I know this video is a little bit different. It's just kind of me talking about a new game, but honestly, I'm excited. This Paralives, Little Sim World, they're all coming together and I'm so excited. But this one I think is gonna have the closest release date. But obviously do keep in mind this is a game, it can always be pushed back and if it needs like fixing and stuff like that or if they need to look into things in more detail, it probably will be pushed back. So just keep that in mind, there's always the possibility of these things like not going according to plan. But I, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope this was an entertaining video. It was basically me just freaking out for a few minutes. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.